Hello, welcome to my channel. I am Marisita Colors in English. Today I will make a beautiful headband in crochet with these beautiful flowers. And I make some pearls and I will make in all my flowers. Here I made a single crochet and you can use this beautiful headband in uh, happy birthdays, in weddings, in every moment. You can make of wood, you can make of cotton, you can make for babies, for kids, until for us. This flower I have, I made before in my channel, here in Maricita Colors. Uh, the name is Pink. The, f the flower pink, but here I make six petals. I will use wool of colors, a hook number 3,50 millimeters, and this uh, headband I made with cotton and with the same hook. So I will show you how we will make the flower. Um, you will need to uh, needle. Big um a uh, little needle faden or yarn for uh show our pearls a scissors and now we begin empezamos we will begin with the magic ring look how I make the magic ring the yarn over my finger I wrap my finger with the yarn and I make the long yarn in the back of the circle. With the hook I pass and I bring the yarn and I make like a loop. Look, uh, langsang or slowly I make my finger out and I catch the yarn and I make the first chain. I will make three and four chains, four chains. The first chain is like the first uh, single crochet. So now we have four chains, cuatro cadenetas en español. I will make two times the yarn over my hook, two times, because we will make the treble crochet. I must to make two treble crochet. So, look how I make the treble crochet. Yarn two times over the hook. I insert into the magic ring. I bring one loop. Now I have four loops. And now I pass from two into the yarn. And this is the famous treble crochet. Doble vareta en español. Again, to time the yarn over the hook, insert into the magic ring, and we pass the yarn from two into loops. And three chains. And in the same magic ring, I make one single crochet. This is the first petal of our flower. My flower has six petals. My flower pink or my flower pink uh, that you find here in my channel has only five petals. And now I make three chains. Three chains. And I repeat the two treble crochet. Dos dobles varetas. This is the first. And the second treble crochet. Three chains for finish over petal. And in the magic ring I make the single crochet. Medio punto en español. The important of the magic ring is that you can close and open. So now I only repeat the stitches and I must to make six petals, six petalos en español. 
So now I make three chains, tres cadenetas, and again the first treble crochet. I will repeat all for that you can see how we make the flower. The three chains and the single crochet in the magic ring. En español, magic ring is aro deslizado, anillo mágico, aro mágico. For begin, again, three chains, tres cadenetas, and two double crochet, or two treble crochet. En español, we say doble vareta and uh, doble punto alto is the name of the treble crochet. Always we make the single crochet when we finish our petal. And always the three chains for begin. Three chains and the two treble crochet. It's very easy and quick to make this beautiful flower. I make some different, a little different from my uh, flower pink that you find here in English with audio in English. And you can see it. Now I have five petals and I will make the, the last petal. Three chains, two double treble crochet or two treble crochet sorry <laughs> I confuse sometimes because the treble crochet in español is doble vareta for this I say double crochet or something sorry. but you can see and you notice that is the treble crochet e all this flower is with treble crochet only I close the magic ring and for finish, I make the three chains, tres cadenetas, and I make four chains in the beginning. The first chain is like the first single crochet, so I insert the hook in the first chain, and we make a slip a stitch. Punto deslizado en español. I pass again the yarn or in the loop in the stitch. I cut the yarn. I finish to pass the yarn in the loop and always I push the last stitch and we finish our flower look it's ready has a lot of move now I will show you how we make uh, we join the flowers in for our headband I will repeat all. Again, the magic ring, el aro deslizado. I pass the hook in the circle and I bring one loop. Slowly I make out my finger and here I will make four chains. Cuatro cadenetas, four chains. And here I make the two treble crochet. And then we must to sew or sew all the uh, yarns with the big needle. Big needle, we say aguja punta roma. Don't forget all with the three chains in the beginning and in the last part of our petal and the single crochet and after this again the three chains for begin the next petal and here I will join with the another flower look here is the reverse of my flower this is the front and here is my front of my flower look always we will join of the same way look so this is the front of my flower and this is the reverse look. So I must to see where I must to insert the hook in the over the treble crochet. This is the reverse, don't forget. 
the jar in the back of the flower and for the reverse I insert the hook over the treble crochet and here I make one slip stitch look one slip stitch and here yarn over the hook two times for make the treble crochet look this is the front of my flower remember this is the way that I find for join the uh, flowers and for that they are front with front and again the yarn in the back of the flower and in the back of the yellow flower I make again the slip stitch and here I make again the treble crochet again and now we join our flowers and for finish the three chains and the single crochet I can close a little the magic ring and I make the single crochet loop and now is the front of our yellow flower and the front of my rose flower. And now I only continue with the flower. I only join one petal, look. And I let two petals in every side. So now I continue with to make the next petal you can repeat the video and you can see how I join the flower with the flower so always the three chains when we finish the treble crochet don't forget and make the single crochet and ready only we must to make the six petals and we finish our flower look here I make again the two treble crochet Don't forget to subscribe you here in my channel, Maricita Colors in English is total free. And you can find me and write me in Facebook, Maricita Colors in English or in Spanish, Instagram and Twitter. Okay, now I made the last petal. I made the three chains. And now I must to make the two double or two treble crochet. Treble crochet. Uh, the headbands for babies are approximately 40 centimeters. But remember, it's better that you compare with another headband. And remember, all the headbands. Uh, the threads always are a little stretch, so you don't must to make so big your headband. This headband that I made the green with the lila is approximately 48 centimeters and it's 14 layers and for us. Okay, now I finish the three chains, the three chains, and now I close the magic ring and here I must to join look with the first uh, chain like is like the first single crochet and we join with one slip stitch again we pass the yarn we cut and we finish to pass the yarn and we push the last stitch always and ready you must to sew all the yarns but I will show you in the next part how you must to sew the yarns in our thread
and the join always you must to make in one petal you must to let two petals in every side and you must to join only one petal like I show you now I show you my headband I have seven flowers that I make with uh, alternate the colors the lila and green and here I will make the rest of our headband because in the back of our headband we don't need to make the flowers so now I will make single crochet first I will make chains look I will pass the hook in the reverse of my flower I will make always I will let two petals in the right two petals in the left and in this petal I will for the reverse I make the hook I pass the yarn the new color and I will make one chain and here I will make the chains uh, for make the size that you prefer here I will make the chains Always you must to compare with another uh, headband if it's possible. Here I make 20 chains. I will make for and I will compare with another uh, headband that I have that is my side. Here I have 20 chains. Here I will show you how I compare with my headband that I that is my size so I make over my headband for compare and I notice that I can make some chains more that for is for the same size so I will make five chains more so all together will be 25 chains 25 cadenetas And these 25 chains is almost 14 centimeters, 14 centimeters, centimetros in Espanol. Now I will join with another flower for that our headband is all together. If you want uh, to see size of headbands, you can see here in internet you can find tables with the centimeters other or inches for us in Spanish in Latin America we use centimeters centimeters now I will join the chains for the reverse of my another flower always you must to see that your flowers are correct this is the reverse of my lila flower I make one slip stitch and in the next stitch I make another slip stitch this is the reverse of the lila flower now I make one chain and we turn the crochet work and look now we are in the front of our flowers And in every stitch or every chain, I will make one single crochet. Un punto medio, un punto bajo, medio punto, en español. So, in every chain, I only make the uh, medio punto, single crochet. Okay, now I almost finished the single crochet and always try to straighten your headband. I make the last single crochet, look. And I can insert the hook in the same place where I start, I begin, I can make the last single crochet. And here I close, I pass again the yarn and cut. I cut before. So, now I will show you how uh, 
soy de yard, how I soy coser en español, de yard in our threads. I use the uh, big needle, aguja punta roma en español. I pass the yarn for the reverse, for that I make all the yarns in the reverse. Here I am in the reverse, and look, I start to pass the yarn between the stitches, but not only in the center, I don't pass in the front. Look, you don't see the needle here. Only for the back or the reverse of our thread. And I start to pass the yarn. Don't make so strong for that your headband is uh, uniform. This is the part of the back of our head. Because here we don't need to have the flowers. But sure, if you want, you can make all the headband with flowers. You are, uh, you can create another headband. Here I will cut. You, if you can, you can let a yarn more big like my yarn. Here I cut, but it's so short. Uh, but for me, I prefer that is a little uh, long for that I can sew it good. This headband is 48 centimeters in all together with the flowers and this uh, single crochet, and it's for teenagers and for us. So for us, the big <laughs> or the adults. So here I start to pass between the thread and not in the front. The, so, uh, you don't see the needle in the front of my thread. Uh, you can see this uh, video in the version original in Spanish in my channel Maricita Colors. I have two channels. This uh, Maricita Colors in English and two Maricita Colors in Spanish. My native language is Spanish. <laughs> you can notice immediately. Inmediatamente, we say in Espanol. So now I made the yarn in the thread. If you make uh, headbands for babies, you must to compare but it's approximately 40 centimeters for babies. And for girls, you, it's a little 42, 43, 44 centimeters. Now I will show you how I lost the uh, yarn in the flowers. You can see how I soy. Coso. Yo coso. Tu coses. <laughs> a little Spanish is good too. So I am in the reverse and I pass the yarn in the center of my flower. You remember that you, we must to close this magic ring. This is the in front and you don't see the needle. So you can make a little strong for that our flower has a little move, movimiento, move. So when you notice that your yarn is super secu secure, seguro en español, you can cut. For this, uh, for me, it's important to let a little yarn for that over thread is um, is a little more secure. Now I cut the yarn and look, you don't see the yarn. And now I will make the yarn of the beginning of uh, where I cut. Of the beginning is in the magic ring, so we make before. So this is the yarn that I made, that I cut, that I cut, <laughs> that cut or cut, cortar en español. This is the front of my rose, 
And always you must to recognize where is your uh, reverse of your flower. I saw it all in the reverse of my flower. Always I try to go in the center. And from here I try to pass the yarn. For the center of my flower. So like this you must to make in all your flowers. Remember that the size of your flower depends on the yarn and the hook. Every yarn needs uh, uh, the hook that uh, say normal advice or normally or usually in the etiquette of the yarn you can see uh, which hook you must use with with, uh, with uh, the yarns. Here I find another yarn and I will make sure that you can see a little too. Uh, like I told you before, if your yarn is teeny, you must use a teeny hook. If your yarn is thick, you must use a thick hook. This is the ruler in the threads. The yarn and the hook, uh, from the yarn and the hook depends the size of our flower. So, maybe you make the same number of flowers, but if maybe it's not the same uh, size of my flowers. So you always must to compare or always you must to try to see how many centimeters or inches has your headband. So here I cut. A lot of careful for don't catch the thread. And now I will show you how I made the uh, pearls in my flower. These uh, pearls, you can use every pearls, or you can let your headband like this too. You don't need to to make to sew the pearls only if you like. Uh, one tip. All the pairs or bits uh, has uh, have not the same size. So you always first to uh, sew it, you must to provide or to try that the needle enter inside of every pair. You must to try to see. I use a normal, uh, the normal yarn for soy. You can use the, the faden or yarn that you want. This is the front of my work and I can pass the, the yarn in the center, in the middle of our flower, I make this for that my uh, yarn is secure. You can make for the reverse too. It's for by the or for both sides. <laughs> Sorry, sometimes you can sh you can hear German, you can hear Spanish. <laughs> Actually, I live in Deutschland, in Germany. For this, sometimes I speak a little in German. <laughs> But okay, now you can see how I make this um, yarn in the center of my flower before I make the pearl in my flower. This is for that um, is secure my yarn. When you see that your your yarn is total secure, you can go in the center. And you can bring or pass or pasar la perlita, perla, perlita en español, 
and here you start to make the jar in the flower. Try to use double or double yarn. Here I try to make double yarn in my thread. For that is secure over pair. And I can pass the needle again in the center or into the pair. You must have a little patience. Un poquito de paciencia, we say in Spanish. Un poquito de paciencia. But you can see the video and you can see how I make this. Always you must try that the yarns are not uh, visible in our thread. You can make with green uh, yarn if you uh, or the color that you use for make your flower. I make with this color for that you can see how I sew it. And because my pearls are clear, for this I use this clear yarn. And now I am in the reverse. And I start to make secure my yarn in my flower. Look, it's beautiful, the pearl in the thread. I always enter in the same place where I pass the yarn and I try to pass in another place. Always for that over uh, pearl is secure. This is the form that I use for make my uh, buttons, buttons in my uh, clothes too. I pass the yarn uh, in the pair too, and again in the center. For that is super super secure. <laughs> this is the way that I find for make secure over pairs, but. If you feel like, or maybe, or quizás, <laughs> you have a better technique like me. So, it's only that I show you how I do it. Here I will cut English. <laughs> Finalmente, finally, I will cut. Okay, I cut the yarn and ready. Look, it's beautiful. And like this, you will make the pearls in our thread. Okay, now you can see I give you another example, otro ejemplo en español, how I sew the pearl in another flower. I use doppel yarn always and I pass the needle in one part of the center. Previous, I made the yarn uh, a lot of times before I make the, uh, the pearl in my thread, in my flower. You know that is a extra detail for our uh, flower. This. Uh, that I saw the bits or the pearling or the pearls is an extra detail for that uh, over headband is beautiful. But it's optional. If you want, you can do it. No problem. You can uh, you can use this headband for weddings, for baptisms, for birthdays for all occasion or for all the times that you want. I pass again the faden or yarn or hilo or over pearl, perla en español. 
coser y soy, en español es coser. Yo, I, soy, yo coso, yo coso la perla. Eso es en español, yo, I, yo. Yo soy Mari, I am Mari. Yo soy Maricita, I am Maricita. So, when you see that it's super secure, you cut the yarn and it's ready. So, like this, you must to make the pearl limb or pearls in your headband. I will make all in my another flowers and I will make photos and you can see in Facebook. Remember, all my works are in Facebook. Maricita Colors in Spanish and Maricita Colors in English. Okay, I hope that you like this beautiful headband and we see us in my next tutorial. Muchas gracias y hasta la próxima. Chao, chao. Thank you.